Hey y'all, this is Brian Krogs card from Ledger Status. In this video, I wanted to briefly share uh, a technical indicator that I've been enjoying recently um, that I find useful for trading certain types of uh, positions and, and trade ideas. This is um, exclusively a short time frame indicator. It's called VWAP, uh, V-W-A-P. It's a volume weighted average price. Uh, it's a really neat tool that is has a unique formula, uh, at least compared to other stuff that I'm familiar with. I've been using it a lot, especially um, trading on sites like OneBroker, where I'm doing leveraged trades of stocks and commodities and things like that. Uh, so let's walk through exactly how you use this. Um, basically, what happens is it resets on each new daily. So you can see right here it resets on that daily open from the daily close. And then it builds on itself and smooths out as time goes on. So volume weighted average price, this is uh, additive as the day goes on. And it's based on the price of the asset uh, multiplied by the shares bought or the volume and then uh, smoothed over time. So at the beginning of the day, it's much choppier. You can see on a day like this, the price gapped up high, and therefore the uh, average price, the, the VWAP was high as well, and then it lowered uh, as the day continued, and then you can see this movement from there on out was smooth. And all this does is provide a slightly dynamic uh, support and resistance concept, and you can use that in your trading. So one of the reasons this is valuable is because uh, other people are using this as well. This is a common tool for day traders. I have historically not really used it because I don't really do a lot of low time frame trading. However, if you're looking for an entry on a swing position, you may use this to assist you on that. Or if you're strictly looking to day trade. Um, at the very beginning of the day or the session, uh, you may have to give it a little bit to for it to figure itself out and then find an opportunity for a position using VWAP uh, later in the day or even towards the end of the day. So you can see a couple of possible setups here. One would be trading a breakout or one would be trading uh, using VWAP as support or resistance. So let's look at two scenarios here that happened on this Netflix chart today. I'll also note whether you're on the one minute or the three minute or the five minute, the uh, VWAP line stays the same. It's just that you're going to see a different candle structure depending on which one that you're looking at. Um, you can, I think TradingView will show uh, VWAP yeah, up to like an hour time frame. At some point it becomes not useful though. Like you can only see when it's drastically out of range on something like this. Um, where I've been finding the sweet spot is kind of that three and five minute zone. So let's look at this on a, a three-minute chart. You can see uh, it started the day trading above, so it was instantly above. And as you gain separation, this is a return to the mean play if you wanted to uh, short a stock if it's above the VWAP. Or you can trade when it breaks out uh, in the opposite direction. Now this first one you wouldn't have gotten very far just because it didn't really break out in a significant way. So you would have entered somewhere on the break from above to below VWAP and then exited as it started to show a bullish return. So you probably didn't get very far on this particular trade. You can see it was ranging here. This isn't necessarily where it's most useful. Um, say you you know, kept doing that though, eventually you would have caught a position like this perhaps. Where it gets more interesting to me is in this part of the day where you get more separated from the from the VWAP line. Um, the way I was approaching this was, one, I might short up here if I'm starting to feel this is overextended. And you can use um, tools at your disposal, additional tools at your disposal to help. So you could have used a uh, divergence indicator here where, um, you know, you've got a overextended divergence, the divergence gets lower while the price gets higher, so that's bearish. So 
when you combine, uh, you know, a divergence play. Granted, divergence isn't going to be as strong at three minutes as it is at higher time intervals, but it's still there. Um, that gives you an indication in combination with some of this candle structure that you may return to the mean, and then the VWAP is going to be used as support. So you could short up here using somewhere around VWAP as your target. Uh, what I actually did was I just saw this in this range, and it looked like I was going to have an opportunity for the market to turn in my direction and give me a trade setup. So I decided I wanted to see if I could catch a bid somewhere just above the line and then go from there. And I actually missed this bid, unfortunately, by like 20 cents by the time I saw which one I wanted to go on because I was looking at multiple assets around this time of the market. Um, so by the time I got my bid in, it was already like up here or something, and I missed it by just a little bit. Uh, but then you can use the, the VWAP as support, and then if it breaks down, that's essentially your stop. Uh, and, you know, you have to do this to your own comfort level in terms of what you want your stop to be. But say you put it, you know, uh, just a, a little bit below and just see what your risk reward calculation might look like. See how much time is left in the day. Uh, personally, if I'm trading on this, especially if it's with leverage, I'm not going to want to keep that open the rest of the day. But in this scenario, you, you can see how good of a position it would be. So there's two things here that you have. You have the line of support and resistance, uh, and then you also have this return to the mean play where it's just too far from the mean and you can trade in anticipation of it getting back to the mean, whether that's a short or a long position. That's not always going to work, and you can see there are some days here where it just really ranges, uh, but it can be quite useful. It's uh, just another tool for your tool belt. Another thing that you might want to check, especially if you're on a, a low time frame market, and you can use this on markets that open and close regularly, or you can use it on 24-hour markets like with Bitcoin. Um, now, with Bitcoin, you're, they're still going to reset on the daily open and close. So you use it the same way, even though there's actually no gap in trading. And people that are familiar with the way uh, Bitcoin trading works or other uh, markets that are 24 hours a day, Maybe they're 24.5 instead of 24.7. Um, you trade them the same way. There's just no uh, no gap in terms of the actual trading, but you do have higher volatility at the beginning and the end of the uh, of the daily cycle anyway. So you can trade it much the same. Uh, you can see here, for instance, we haven't actually gotten to a point to be able to short based on this to get back to uh, VWAP, but you could long based on the distance from the line. Um, so this is something that is new to me. Like I said, I've been enjoying it. Let me know if you like it, if you enjoy it, if it's something that you can add to your suite of tools. I uh, hope this little explanation helps. All right. Have a good one.